Today we're going to demonstrate on how to do miniature gardening. Doesn't matter if you call it a fairy garden or a miniature garden or a railroad garden. You can add a miniature anything and always have lots of fun. Pause. First choose your container. I went to the local uh, craft store and got this one because I thought it was unusual. Look, it's got holes. So, your water will drain through it. But, if you put just dirt in this, the dirt will come through the holes. So, at the same craft store, I got this cocoa liner. It fits in here, but not as well. So, I cut it in half. So, I have these two that I cut in half, putting one on this side, tucking it down, making sure it doesn't show, and tucking the other side, getting it tucked in, make sure it overlaps so that the dirt doesn't fall through, and we have it all tucked in. Next, we need our plants. Well, no, first of all comes soil. So we're going to add soil and potting soil is best. You don't want to use regular dirt because that could have some weeds or some fungus or some um, things that we just don't want. We want to make sure potting soil also has very good drainage. See the white stuff that helps with water retention and drainage and all kinds of good stuff. So put your soil in. I chose two plants that kind of look fun. It says fairy garden on it, but if you're not doing a fairy garden, well just don't have to show it's a fairy garden. So. This one, I want to look kind of like a tree. So, I am going to trim some of this off into my trash can. And this is also part of pruning. You can trim it to whatever way you want. Make it look whatever way. If there's a bad leaf on there, you can trim it off. And if it's just in the way or it doesn't work, prune it. And when it starts growing and it overgrows which, where you want it to be, cut it back. See the roots? They're all bundled up. Let's loosen those up a little bit so they can breathe a little. We're going to put this one right here. And we're going to add some more soil around it. Making sure to break up the clumps so it doesn't get too compacted. And then the next thing I chose, this one's a perennial, but you can use it because it's low lying, oop, lots of roots. And it's good for color. And we're just loosening up the roots, not really breaking them or anything. We don't want to hurt them. We just want to give them some room. I want that to stand up a little bit higher. So there we go. I want it to be just at the edge of your pot. So now I am going to fill in with more soil. And you're just filling in your gaps so that your plant has plenty of room to grow and get water and all that fun stuff. Let's see. Now, we, I have gone to the local craft store store and have gotten some little birds and I wired it on and then I hot glued the shell on so that I could have a uh, bird coming in for 
nectar, a little hummingbird feeder. So I'm going to decide that maybe I want this hummingbird to be here. The great thing is, if I don't like that later, I can pick it up and I can move it over here. But for right now, I'm going to put it right here. I also have shells that I have hot glued onto a cork to make a bird bath. So I think, oh, I'm missing something. Pause. All right, next thing we're gonna add is more of the hardscape. You got your landscape with your plants. You got a little bit of the bird with the stick that's about to poke me in the eye. <laughs> Um, your imagination, it's endless. You can do whatever you want. It's your landscape. It's your garden. Um, Pinterest has a lot of ideas on what you can do with miniature gardens. And I just decided I don't like where this is located. And I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm going to move it to the back because I have a little path that I have made out of the leftover cocoa that I'm going to put in right here. And that way your fairies or your army men or your hot wheels can travel on the path. And my butterfly just doesn't want to stand up. So we're going to take him out and he's on a wire, which is really easy to bend, but it's also easy to move. So I think this butterfly might live in this plant. And he's going to be just like that. So, also, I have made some, I found a shell and I thought it would be fun to put it on a stump. And maybe it's a place for a fairy or an army man or something to sit. I've also made little huts with shells and pieces of wood that I cut. Could be a, a little house. I also found at the local craft store bird houses that my friend Burnell painted for me and then hot glued some of the leftover cocoa and some of the shells onto to use as a birdhouse. And you can put that anywhere you want. But this one I just don't have enough space for, for a birdhouse. I'll show you one with a birdhouse in a minute. I'm looking around and I'm seeing that this one needs some more dirt on the side. It just doesn't have enough dirt. So we're going to come in here and it's a little messy. That's why I'm doing it outside on the counter. If you're doing it inside, you're going to want to make sure because, you know, you don't want dirt on your food. So let's make sure we keep it clean. So there, we've got our little path. We've got our plants. We've got our bird. What else should we add? I think we should add a little hut in this one. And no birdhouse. So we've got this pretty much done. We've got our little mushrooms. So we are going to water. And when watering, you want to make sure that you don't overwater, but you want to make sure the plants get plenty of water. So when you're picking out plants, you want to make sure you get plants that are equal um, sun and equal moisture. So both of these plants both say uh, sun to part shade and moist, well drained. So they're perfect to be in a container together and when you're using a water you you don't really want to use a cup you want to use a long handle so you can get it more on the plant and not
you get your soil wet. It doesn't matter if it comes out, but if you are keeping this inside, you want to make sure that you put a plate or something underneath it so that it doesn't spill out all over your carpet or something because that would be bad. But first time we're watering it down, we're getting it watered in pretty good. And so there is a miniature garden. And when you pick it up, it's definitely heavier. See all the water on the counter? That's why you don't want to put it on your furniture. If you're going to put it on your furniture, make sure you have plastic underneath it to catch it. Or a plate, a platter. I'm earlier that I used one of those birdhouses. I put in a plant that looks kind of like a tree. Um, I put in a path like I showed you on this one. There's a butterfly. But also on pruning, see this that doesn't really look like it belongs? You just cut it off and it looks much better. This one I'm going to cut off because it's kind of died. But you just want to make sure that you don't let it get too out of hand. So, I put a bird on a seashell and it's resting on its um, bird bath. So, you can put the tags in with it or you don't have to. I like to put them in there. But if you're having a railroad garden, you have your path, and it's for the railroad, you don't want there to be, say, it's fairy. So, and then this one, just going to water it in like we did the other one, making sure to get both plants really good so that they can grow. And then about once a week, you check your garden to make sure and see if it needs any water. You have it outside and it rains, it may not need as much water, um, but check it. You'll stick your finger in, see if it's wet. If you get clean, you probably need a little bit more water. If you get dirty, it's good. So that concludes miniature gardening. Really and truly, you can do anything you want in just about any container. You need to make sure there's drainage holes. If you wanted to, you could put rocks in here that you find outside. You could, um, I have a shovel that maybe the fairies want to dig up something in their garden. So you put a shovel, maybe by the house we'll put a shovel. So... The options are endless. Thank you for coming and learning about miniature gardening. Uh -huh.